this day one of eating a plant-based diet and it's a Sunday. And so far so good because my breakfast and anything leading up to about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon would normally be plant-based anyway. So I'll just tell you what I'm eating for my lunches and my dinners. So I'm about to have my lunch now. It's quite easy for me today because Dan isn't here, he's working most of the day and my eldest two children are at a rehearsal for a show that they're in. So it's only me and the little two. I would feed them lunch way before me anyway because they get hungry before I do. So they've just had their lunch and it's about an hour or so later now I'm going to make mine. So this is a recipe that I came across on one of my new favorite YouTube channels, which is Live B, it's Live B. Um, and she just posts the best plant-based recipes. Her diet, how she eats, is basically how I want to eat. It's basically chickpeas mashed with vegan mayo with salt and pepper, spring onions, and very small diced peppers. I made a batch of this yesterday, and one tin of chickpeas made enough for two separate lunches. So I'm going to have it on a toasted bagel. The one thing I haven't really thought about yet is what I will use instead of butter because I haven't got anything. So I'm just gonna put it straight on top of the bagel. That's what I did yesterday and it was absolutely fine. So this is lunch, it's on a small plate. It looks really huge. I could probably have portioned this out over three days to be fair, that is quite a generous portion, but there you go. So dinner tonight is a pie with smashed, like kind of squished potatoes, not mashed potatoes. So I've made a regular chicken pie for everybody else, which is something I would do on a Sunday anyway. And I'm going to have a vegan pie. It's a sagaloo pie. I showed it in my last video. Sorry, Marnie's hungry in the background. Um, I showed it in my last video in my grocery haul. So I will insert a little clip of it so you can see what it looks like. But it's basically a sagaloo pie. I'm going to have it with the potatoes and broccoli, same as everybody else. So this is the inside of the pie. It's a potato and spinach pie. It actually smells really, really good. Well, that was yummy, actually. Pleasantly surprised. It could probably have done, it was a little bit like dry with the potato. It could probably have done with an extra sauce. It was like the content of the pie was tasty. But um, yeah, I think because a uh, chicken pie would be more saucy. That was more of a solid pie. I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but it just felt like it needed a bit more moisture. But other than that, it was really tasty and the pastry was quite nice as well, which I was surprised about. So I'm about to prepare tonight's dinner and I just wanted to tell you what I had for lunch today. It was not a healthy alternative. Let me just uh, warn you, but I happened to be out. It was a uh, inset day for Aiden today and I happened to be out and about with him and I promised him a McDonald's. So I opted for the veggie dippers, I think they're called, which are new, I think, at McDonald's and they're vegan and they're delicious. So I had those with some sweet curry sauce, which I Googled and it is vegan and a Diet Coke. So that was my lunch. My breakfast was as normal, as I've said before, it was just my regular porridge. So that's what I've eaten today so far. I haven't had any snacks except a couple of spoonfuls of sweet corn out of the tin when I was dishing up Marnie's tea, but I haven't really fancied anything else. So I've just had lots of water. So now I'm about to make dinner and I'm making something I've fancied trying for a while after seeing it, I think on Instagram. And it's a sticky cauliflower. I will show you the recipe on my iPad now. I'm about to make it. I've never tried it before, but it sounds right up my street. So this is the recipe I'm going to follow. It was actually on this morning, but I saw it, I'm sure, on Instagram. But it's similar to the one that I've already seen and it's basically a battered cauliflower which you bake in florets in the oven and then you make like a sticky sweet slightly spicy sauce to go with it sounds amazing it's dressed with spring onions and sesame seeds so yeah let's give it a go <coughs> that was seriously yummy I would highly recommend that new favorite dinner. I'm having one of those days where I thought I had all the time in the world and now all of a sudden it's an hour before school pickup. I've got so much to do and I haven't eaten any lunch. So it's been one of those today. I was going to make a much more complicated lunch, but because of that reason, I'm now gonna do something very quick and easy that I know will fill me up. It's only gonna take about five minutes to do. So it's basically vegetable gyoza, which I'm going to pan fry in some sesame oil. Then I'm just going to put some spring onions, spinach, 
Um, what else am I going to put in there? Maybe some red pepper. Stir it all together in a pan. Then I'm just going to drizzle some sweet chili sauce over it and that is it. Super simple but really, really tasty. And about the only thing I've got time to make this afternoon. So that's what I'm going to have. So this is lunch. I actually had some of the cauliflower from last night's dinner left. So I've added that to the side. Probably went a little bit overboard with the sesame seeds, but that's lunch. So it's way past dinner time. And the thing I'm finding is that if I don't prepare and think about what I'm going to have, so it's really dark. If I don't think about what I'm going to have in advance, which I have, I've planned out my meals, but I just haven't prepped well enough I feel because now it's really late luckily what I'm having for dinner tonight is quite quick and easy I was going to make a curry but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow night now just because it's just not something I fancy doing right now so tonight I'm going to have a bean burger bowl which is from a video that I watched on YouTube and it's basically a bean burger which you cook chop up into pieces and then she uses it with barbecue sauce I don't like barbecue sauce so I'm going to use sweet chili instead cook off some vegetables in a pan. So I've got some peppers and some onions. Then you put your bean burger pieces in with that and the sauce and then have it in a bowl with some couscous and some greens. It sounds weird, but it looked really nice when she plated hers up. Mine probably won't look that good, but I'm sure it'll taste nice. So I'm going to put all that together now. The one thing I'm finding is that even though I'm planning my meals and I know what I'm gonna have, if I haven't prepped or I haven't got everything that I need, it's gonna be really difficult to feed myself quickly. So that's something I'm learning quite fast is I need to be really, really prepared and organized um, or just really hungry. So one or the other, I think I'd rather try and be organized. So I will make my dinner now and show you what it's like when it's all done. I'm quite impressed with that. The only thing I would say, or oh, somebody else is quite impressed with that as well. It's not for you, you've had your tea. Um, the one thing I would say is that the bean burgers probably could have done with being a bit crispier. I think I got them out a bit too soon because they've broken up a little bit into mush rather than pieces, but I don't really mind that. As long as it tastes good, that's good enough for me. So I'm a couple of days in and I thought I would have a quick chat because I just thought it might be interesting to see how I'm feeling now and then a couple of days later I realize a week isn't like a lengthy amount of time to measure and if I'm enjoying it and it's going okay I will definitely keep it going past a week but so far I'm not finding it too difficult if I'm completely honest the one thing which I think I mentioned last night when I was making my dinner that I have realized is how much more organized I need to be in terms of planning so that I don't get hangry and then really struggle to find something to prepare quickly. So that is the biggest thing that I've found so far is that if I'm late having my lunch and then I have to make something or I can't just grab something quick and easy, then that's more tricky. But other than that, in terms of enjoying the meals, I'm 100% loving trying new recipes trying new things not um relying on what i would normally make um that's been fine i'm definitely not missing meat i haven't thought about it at all i'm not really missing cheese but then we are only a couple of days in so you know that that could well change but so far i don't really feel like i've missed out um it wouldn't be rare for me to go three four five days or more without cheese so that's not really a big stretch the one thing i have missed is butter um because i've had a bagel a couple of times and I've just put like my topping on it dry rather than putting butter but I know there's loads of non-dairy alternatives to butter I just haven't been out and bought one yet and I forgot to get one in my last grocery shop so it's just something I need to do Dan did buy a cream egg the other day which I couldn't have obviously so I was a bit gutted about that but other than that it has been really really enjoyable so far I've just made my lunch um I'm having a baked sweet potato i've made some more of that chickpea salad that i had earlier on in the week because i absolutely loved it it's like the it's supposed to be like um a fake version of tuna mayo but i think it's way nicer it's just like mashed up chickpeas with a bit of heinz or hellman's i think vegan mayo which is delicious then some spring onion i've put sweet corn in this time which i didn't last time and some red pepper salt and pepper on top of that mix it all together it is so seriously yummy then i've got some spinach and the bit i'm not sure i'm gonna like is a vegan wiener. Now, I bought these because my friend SJ loves them. She talks about them in some of her food videos. She says they're really yummy, and 
I, I don't know, I'm not convinced. The texture, I think it's gonna be a bit squishy for my liking. Just by holding them and cutting them up, they just felt a little bit squishy. So we'll see, and they smell, they smell a little bit like a hot dog, but not enough to make me convinced that I'm gonna like it. So I will show you it now. I've just chopped that up on the side with the other stuff, but that's the one bit. I think the rest of it I'll really enjoy. I'm not sure about that. So here we have today's lunch. This I actually did yesterday um, and I've just reheated it so I didn't have to like wait ages to have that today. I've just microwaved it. I might actually do a batch of them so I've got them ready to go in the fridge. This is the chickpea salad that I mentioned which I, I really like. And this is the um, suspicious looking wiener. I warmed it up which maybe that's where I went wrong. Perhaps I should have had it cold but yeah it just feels a little bit squashy we shall see and i don't know if i trust you oh wow pleasantly surprised that's really nice i did not expect to like that i really didn't think it was going to be good but that is really good It's a little bit later now and I can just feel like I'm getting the munchies so I thought I would have one of these. I picked it up yesterday from the co-op after spotting that it is in fact suitable for vegans so I thought this might satisfy my sweet tooth when I need to. Two pots of chilli on the go for dinner. This one is mine so it has lentils and extra veg and beans, chopped tomatoes, sweet chilli sauce. So there we have it, that is my version of the chilli, so it smells really good, I've had a little taste while it was cooking and it was really tasty. I will miss having cheese and sour cream on my chilli, if I'm honest, which is what I would usually do, but I'm still excited to eat it because it does smell really good. So today is a crazy busy one, so I've just made myself my new favourite lunch which I discovered this week, which is my good old faithful chickpea salad on a bagel. And then this evening for dinner, I've already put a slow cooker lentil and chickpea curry in to cook while I'm out. So this is dinner. I've just put a bit of crispy kale on top, which I did in the oven just to add some extra greens, a small amount of naan bread, which I'm not sure if I fancy, to be honest. And more about the rice and the chickpeas. So looking forward to digging into that. So Marnie and I are actually out and about today, taking some bits and pieces back in town. So it's a lunch out of the house which i feel like i've done that twice this week and i would never normally do that but um i guess it kind of makes it more challenging to find things as well and try new plant-based things that i probably wouldn't have ordered before so we've just arrived at a drive through starbucks and i will show you what i've got for lunch so i went for the vegan beetroot wrap which is butternut squash with roasted red peppers black beans sweet corn chipotle relish in a beetroot wrap and I also got myself a hazelnut, are you singing Jingle Bells? A hazelnut oat milk macchiato and I accidentally got a really big one which I didn't really want. And then because I'm starving and I just wanted to see what this was like, I got the pistachio bar which I think has got chocolate on but I will show you when I open it. So I've just opened the packet and it actually doesn't smell very nice so I'm a bit scared. Even though this is something I would normally like, I don't know, maybe the wrap's going to be a bit... I don't know. Oh, no, it's quite nice. Probably wouldn't be my first choice, but it is quite nice. That's a lovely song. So this is the pistachio bar that actually looks really, really good. The wrap was actually nicer the more I ate of it because I got to more of the sauce. So it actually got more tasty the further down I got. So we're really late having dinner tonight. It's one of those evenings where I've been out with Aiden at karate. So I'm really late doing everything and I'm absolutely starving. So for dinner tonight, we're having something really quick and easy and I'm just doing a katsu curry. That's the sauce dinging in the microwave behind me. I am going to have mine with these Marks and Spencer's Plant Kitchen like popcorn cauliflower so it's a battered cauliflower i would have done my own like i did earlier on in the week but i just haven't got the energy to do it this evening and i saw these in the shop and thought that they would be a good alternative so i'm just going to have my sauce with those and rice i also have some leftover 
roasted kale from the other night which I'm going to pop on the plate as well then we've got a couple of gyoza left in the freezer so I think I'll do those and some edamame and I'll just do Dan's katsu with chicken as normal so I cannot wait to eat it I'm about to go and plate it all up now because I think that everything is ready end of the week i know i actually only filmed six days but it has now when i'm filming this been a full seven days but last night i literally just had leftovers i had some of the lentil chickpea curry left so i just had that with some rice and in the day what did i have for lunch i had avocado on a bagel with some chili flakes so um it was one of those days where i didn't get my camera out and i just thought I'll just let you know what I ate. So it was a simple, easy dinner day yesterday. Overall, I've really enjoyed it. I've thoroughly enjoyed finding new recipes to try. I found the food really tasty, really full of flavour, filling, which I'm really pleasantly surprised about. I did worry that I would just find myself being hungry all the time and then struggling to be motivated to carry on because I always felt hungry. But actually, in terms of keeping me full it's been really good I think I've been choosing lots of pulses and beans and hearty veg and filling meals that have just kept me going so it's been really really good from that point of view so going forward I think I will continue to eat this way I will certainly for the majority of my meals be eating plant-based I think when I'm at home on my own or just with Marnie and the kids it is so much easier so I will eat that way and prepare food for myself that is plant-based without a doubt and I don't think I'll find that a difficult adjustment because I have really enjoyed it and found some new recipes that I would like to make again so and also ones that Dan enjoyed as well and he is certainly not thinking or considering going plant-based he's a big meat eater and he loves his cheese so it's not for him but he doesn't mind eating that way occasionally so that's really good so yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it and I hope you've enjoyed watching along and seeing the kind of things that I've eaten this week I would love to hear from you if you are plant-based or you just like to eat that way occasionally or you just have some great recipes to share then let me know in the comments what those recipes are and I will definitely give them a try as long as they don't have mushrooms in because I hate mushrooms um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you stick around. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!